Hey everybody, today we're out here looking for a creature that produces one of the most iconic sounds of late summer. You can see John behind me there filming up in the tree. He's getting some footage of a cicada. And this is not a periodical cicada. It's not one of the cicadas that comes out only every 17 years. Uh, we're actually due for, I think, one of those next year. You just heard one behind me. Uh, but these are annual cicadas. These are species of cicadas that come out every year and sing throughout late summer. So let's see if we can get a look at this one that's up here. It's kind of up in the branches of this tree right up in there. Much like periodical cicadas, these annual cicadas may also spend multiple years underground in their larval stage before emerging to make one big climb. For such a small creature, scaling a tree of this size is an incredible feat, one that's aided by those hooked, powerful limbs formerly used only for digging. Once high enough, the cicada will undergo its final molt, coming out as a beautiful winged adult ready for the final and very crucial stage of its life. Adults have just a few short weeks to find a mate, reproduce, and carry on the next generation, and much of this hinges on the songs produced by the males that are used to attract females. So check this out. John actually managed to grab one of these cicadas so we can get a closer look at it. Now cicadas are hemipterans. They're in the order Hemiptera, which makes them true bugs. And their close relatives are leaf hoppers, plant hoppers. You're probably familiar with those. You may see them coming to your lights at night. But obviously these are much larger, right? These are a much larger kind of animal. And of course what they're most famous for is that song, that noise they produce, which as I said, makes up one of the most familiar late summer sounds here in Eastern North America. And throughout much of the world, there's cicada species that, that make summer sounds. And they produce that sound using a special structure called a timbal. The timbal is a small membrane connected to what are known as ribs just below the wing. And muscular action buckles this timbal hundreds of times per second to produce the rapid clicking loud noise created by the cicada. Though we often refer to these as dog day cicadas, there are numerous species of annual cicadas that come in a wide variety of color patterns and make different calls at different times of the day. Cicadas are an amazing group of insects that are harmless to humans and important as food for many other wildlife species. And I can't imagine what a summer would be like without the backdrop of cicada song. 